What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Pastors Game 2 Raider franchise here on Madden 23. This is week number 8, season number 7. For the Raiders against the Titans. Um, Yeah, so we are up against the Tennessee Titans, and they are 1-6. Home game for us. Uh, afternoon Sunday game. Um, we have played very well this season and we have not gone up against any real challenge. Most of our players have been, most of our teams that we play against have been, uh, have been really under 500, not just under 500, but massively under 500. Uh, so we're going to, we're going to get a little smug trap game based on their record and what they put on film. You know, we think this is going to be an easy one. Which I do. The Titans are struggling and all players will have negative five break tackle, play recognition, and tackle for this game. Wow. Beat the Titans and avoid falling victim to the trap game. Wow. So they penalize them for struggling. All right. Well, let's um let's not delay it. Let's go ahead and jump in. Oh no. I hit simulate the week. Hopefully we didn't lose. We did win. Oh man. I hit the wrong button, y'all. Uh, well, let's take a look at Let's take a look at the results of that game. Dang it. Um, what happened in this game? Briggs had 287 yards, three touchdowns. Sorry about that. Man, that's crazy. Um, Bynes had about 70 yards. Backup got in for a little love. Okay. One touchdown for each of them. Look at that. Ed Harrell had a game. 98 yards for him. One touchdown. Matt Shields with a touch. Wait a minute. That's five touchdowns. I mean, what's the score? Blocking and then defensively Hicks with that everything with tackles Crosby Flanagan and Dean were able to get in there and do a thing. Wow. Okay, sorry about that. Well we won't play them. Looks like we'll be playing the Bengals in this game. And the Bengals have a little bit of a better team. Five and three um 87 and 84 we do have a breakout oh we did have a breakout situation and uh, that we weren't able to work through because we didn't play that game arsenal uh but this is a okay response to a cold opponent let's take a look at this probably doesn't matter i'm just gonna skip through this since we didn't play the game but the entire team gets a thousand xp uh, let's take a look real quick at the Bengals. Uh, I think they look pretty close to the way they've always looked. It's seven years in though, so but the big guys are still there. Burrow still in the height of his career, 98 overall. Mixon, 96 overall. Okay, he's starting to come down. He was a 99 last time we played them. Uh, Jamar Chase. Uh, I think these are Gallup. I, we, with the quarterback here, those are solid, target, solid targets. Uh, we might be able to get in and create some pressure, though. That offensive line didn't look too scary. Defensive line looks looks good. Um, linebackers, okay. Uh, they do have speed on the corner. Look at this: 96, 95, 95, 94, 94. So it's maybe more of a possession passing game and uh good secondary so this could be huh, this could be interesting gotta do the weekly strategy um i think we will defend the medium pass and i think oops uh what are we doing weekly strategy defend the medium pass 
and yeah we'll keep the run inside I don't have a problem with that so let's see, go back we're gonna go half pads today mostly because I think I definitely need everyone for this game so let's uh, have pads here All right, let's see if we got any injuries on that week. Mm -mm -mm. Can't believe I accidentally simmed the week. It's probably a good thing anyway. That game probably wasn't going to be any fun. All right, Cincinnati. Oh, actually, let's go ahead and upgrade the players real quick. Is it a bunch? Okay. You guys have to suffer to be so. You can skip this if you want be able to jump right to the game if you like Trayvon Merrick just a beast you already know Anthony Wolf we're gonna go with power rusher and Anthony wow Anthony Wolf is basically a I think it's only his second year he's already 93 overall Crazy. Harrison Irvin's coming back. Let's give him the zone. Alex Leonard. It's a good upgrade for Alex Leonard, especially that lead block. We want to try to get some more help on the um, on the running game. Jared Schultz, only 76 overall. He's so good though. I feel like he's so good. Trick move. Let's go ahead and get power here. This going, don't really know this guy. I think we picked him up late. Spectacular catch was up for him. Gordon will do speed rush. And Brackens. Yusuf. Okay, all right. So now let's make sure we hit play the game and this is Sunday night prime time Raiders looking to keep from getting embarrassed it's the Raiders and the Bengals here we go ladies and gentlemen welcome to Sunday night football it's the Raiders and the Cincinnati Bengals and Raider fans have been pretty happy with the with the Raiders play this year led by Jamison Williams who could get his a thousand yard mark passing thousand yard passing what should I say there should get his 1,000 yard in this game to surpass that that number um, but Cincinnati is probably the best team the Raiders have had to be up against all season they Sayers are wondering just how good the Raiders really are they haven't been tested all season and so Tonight could prove to be one such test. We'll see how they respond. As it's Raiders in Cincinnati. Here we go. Joe Burrow's in the house. Top flight quarterback. The Raiders have had to play top tier quarterbacks, at least the first couple of couple of games. Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen. And, uh, but it's not, it's not Joe Burrow that opens the game. It's Mixon who opens it. And he is met by the Raiders for a loss of one yard on the first play of the game. And that's an interception by Trayvon Merrick. Another acrobatic play by Trayvon. 
just puts himself in harm's way, dives for the ball, and gets the interception. Look at that. Perfect timing. Trayvon Merrick, he, he, I wonder if he's going to get Defensive Player of the Year. He's due. He's been pretty close, beat only by his own players. Um, I wonder if Trayvon can get Defensive Player of the Year this year. Wow. And uh, Bynes had absolutely positively nowhere to go on that on that run attempt this defense is a difficult one to prepare for one of the best in the league they'll come at you from all angles and they did a nice job there stopping him from a loss the pass over to Jared Schultz good throw made a stand in the pocket make that pass Maybe Schultz. Could be Williams for the touchdown early, though. And he's not in. Wow. Thought he was in there. And Bynes has nowhere. Bynes has nowhere to go. Try it one more time here. This offensive line is not. There we go. And we're able to get in for the TD. And there's Sharif. Oh, sorry. Nice run, able to get in for the one yard gain. Although I, I wish that touchdown would have been for Jamison. He has such a good catch. Raiders get out to the early lead, seven to zero on the interception by Trayvon Merrick and conversion by the Raider offense. Cincinnati's behind the eight ball. This is not why you want to get the ball first. You expect to get the early lead, but it didn't work out that way. Pressure, pressure on Joe Burrow. He has to throw the ball away. He is 0 for 2. It's just a matter of time, though. He will find his target. Flanagan with the tackle, but not before he's able to get the first down on the 10-yard run. They're just playing a lot of man coverage. That's mixing up the middle. Joe Mixon, 106 yards and one touchdown in the last game. Hoping to have a similar kind of day today. Raiders have not been a team that gives up a lot of passing yards. And there's Chase with the catch. And Burrow finally makes a connection to his uh, number one guy. Big tackle. Let's go. Flanagan there again to make a big play on the screen pass. Allows the catch and wraps up.
Got to the quarterback six times for sacks and plenty of other turbulence in the pocket for him as well. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can bring some pressure to the quarterback. See if he's gonna throw it quickly or not. Good throw, single, um, not Singleton. Forgot his name. Who's number 16? Number 16 made the play. Oh. Gallup with the catch, and he's in for the touchdown. And that time, Trayvon Merrick gambled for the interception and lost. He's probably the guy that was needed to get this to stop him. But Michael Gallup scores for for Cincinnati and scores seven to seven. Gallup's one of the fastest guys in the NFL. Why Dickerson is back there, but okay. All right, so we're going to need to keep the scoring up. Offense is on the field. Roll to Terrell. Finds the tight end, and Briggs is three for three in the game so far, and it's a nice pass. To the sideline to the tight end. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good way. Moving the defenders towards the middle. Going to try running the ball. We may, if we continue to get a lot of pressure, yeah, like that, we may have to see what Dickerson has. Matter of fact, let's. We're going to try him. Try him and see if there is a difference. Can he break? Can he break a few tackles? That's all we really want to know. Sharif Bynes is just not having any room. Not finding any room at all. Nickerson didn't do much better on that play. Just one. Looking for shields on the outside. Found a tight end. He makes the catch and gets the first down. Not the tight end. I'm sorry. The fullback. That's a good throw. Oh, no. And Ed Harrell goes down. And so we may get... The rookie, Caldwell, not the rookie, but second year receiver, highly uh, touted Caldwell. Another throw to the fullback. And Ed Harrell is out for the rest of the game. Give me a block. Dickerson, go through him. Mm. Nice run. Dickerson's got 23 yards on three carries on one pretty big gain there. Looking for Schultz on the outside. Couldn't uh, get the ball off in time. End of the first quarter, 7-7. Seven to seven. Pretty comparable kind of game. Both offenses... Basically doing the same thing. Raiders in the red zone looking to score. May have Williams on the outside corner. Likely going to get Schultz on the short out route. But no. You're going to get Williams on the corner like we thought we might. And that's an easy throw to make. Jamison just beats his guy. 
that's just an easy throw. Just playing catch at that point. Big offensive drive for the for the Raiders and Sheldon Briggs is completing a high percentage of his passes. Uh, that's a three wide right receiver set, so Ooh, Jamar Chase with the catch thought maybe that could have been intercepted, but Jamar erases that possibility. This is probably going to be a run play. Go with the three three odd formation. Ooh, is the person who's trying to come in. I think he's down already. I think he's down already. But Jamar Chase is who's he who's he up against here? He's up against Hicks. I think I think that ball's out. I mean, uh, down. Yeah. No need to see it. I think it's overturned. Yeah. Let's look at cornerback matchups by overall. See if we can keep our best player on their best player. Oh, and that's a little bit better. Andrew Booth was there to make the play. Can't give him that much time. Intercepted. Want to go to the other side, maybe? Finds room, he could go. Oh, the way. Let's go. Chris was looking for his big game last last game. Gets his big play in this one, Jamal. Macaulay Culkin had plenty of time, but the safety is there to make the interception on the one look like. And 99 yards later, conversion into a pick six. And that gives the Raiders a commanding lead. And they have not given away a lead for close to 30 games. Not looking to start today. Joe Burrow had plenty of time on that on that I guess you I guess you go to your guy. Another fumble. This time it might actually stick. And there were three or four Raiders in the area. May have gotten him gotten to him. Three guys there. Boom. And that's Trayvon Merrick. Producing producing the, the turnover after having given away
Oh, ho, ho, ho. both both players had their hands on the ball there. Both players had their hands on the ball. Yeah. Passing cash to who else? Schultz. I feel like he needs a breakout game. Pass to the tight end. And this time he gets 10, and the Raiders feeling good right now. Sheldon Briggs is in a nice rhythm. Finding his guys. Dickerson, and he's got 30 yards on four carries, and he seems to be running a little bit better. Oh, here comes Bynes. There's nowhere to go. Oh, threw it late. Threw it late. We're going to go ahead and kick the field goal. We kick the field goal. Good drive. Not the best outcome, but a good outcome. Let's go. Joe Garcia finally gets home to Joe Burrow. And the Raiders are feeling good right now. That's a hold on uh, Joe Garcia. Look at him. Still, he's able to break free. And I feel like that should be a fumble. But. They didn't call it that way. Third and 16. Uh, maybe not this play. Called the wrong thing. Is that intercepted? Let's go. And we haven't said this man's name in a long, long time, but Andrew Booth, he had to come over and cover the best player, pretty much throwing exclusively to Jamar Chase. Booth able to make the catch and get his feet in. Aqua play. There he is once again. You know his name. Jared Schultz. He's probably going to get over 100 past 100 yards just in this game. Nice. Nice play. Double move. Shakes up the... Uh, Receiver. This might go to Caldwell. Nope. Over the middle to Dickerson. 
Richardson feels like a solid runner. We may have to go with him. Oh, and it's intercepted. Intercepted. It's a good throw. I, a, I thought it was a good throw, actually. I thought it was intercepted. I mean, I thought it was a good throw. I thought, uh, I thought I was leading them. I mean, that's just a good play by the defender. I don't know what to say about that. He just did his thing there. Alright, we don't want to give them any hope. Get out of this. I'm gonna go with. Just keep it in front of us. I think we get the ball at the start of the second half. Good. Safety. Breaks the ball up. Breaks the play up. Ooh, we're in nickel. And he gets him. Wow. Heck of a play. Actually didn't get the call that we wanted to get. So I don't know what the computer called. But it left them wide open. I really kind of, I want to score. I want to score. Couldn't get out of the way. All right. We, uh, we're going to look for a score here. Good throw to Williams. And the ball's out of bounds. Looking for Caldwell on the outside there. Nice throw. Throws to the outside. And Matt Shields with the with the catch. He's out of bounds. Puts us on the 35 yard line with 26 seconds and three timeouts. We could score. Don't like these play calls. Maybe this one. Okay. I like Shields and Williams are going out. Might have to check down to Caldwell. Uh oh, Williams. Let's get the catch and we are going to call a timeout. With 19 seconds left. Ooh, Williams on the magic route. This could be it. There he is. Let's go. 
and a masterful drive with 40 seconds left. We end up getting down in about 30 seconds. They scored. Come right back and score. And that's 31 points in the first half for the Las Vegas Raiders against the Cincinnati Bengals. And let's see if we can keep them from scoring in 16 seconds. Last time they threw the ball down the field, scored on a huge pass. So maybe we can stop it this time. Although, like I said, we didn't really get our play call. Oh, we missed. Oh, they decided to run the ball. So, oh, and they're going to call timeout. Maybe they want to just get a little bit closer so he can throw the ball. I'll bet Joe Burrow has a crazy arm in this game. So, oh, uh, yeah. That's the end of the first, ladies and gentlemen. 30 to 16 or 30 to 14. What is it? No, uh, 31 to 14. Raiders have 217 yards in the first half. Both teams playing pretty well with the difference being the defense. Raiders defense has scored. And uh, been able to play a bigger factor. The Cardinals win 37 to 23 over the Cowboys. Both teams four and four. Dak Prescott, two interceptions in that game. Got Carolina and the Lions. And the Lions are winning that one. New quarterback Ellington has 297 yards and four touchdowns for the Lions. The young quarterback is making a name for himself. And so Monday night will feature the Patriots and the Dolphins. Um, we'll try to focus on the inside run and we're going to defend the medium pass. All right, we're going into the second half. We get the ball, the Raiders, up 31-14. Let's go. Jameson Williams, over 1,000 yards in this game. Over 1,000 yards in this season. He's got 1,044 in week eight. And Dickerson has space. And he's got 51 total yards on five carries. And it seems to be a much better runner, at least against, at least in this game. Than uh, Sharif Bynes. There's Williams once again. This time he only gets seven yards on the reception. Good throw, Matt Shields. <laughs> Funky throw angle, but look at Williams down the field. Should have hit him. This might go to Dickerson on the check down. Or Shields. Uh, I wanted to throw the ball away, but I guess I ran out of bounds before I could do that. Second and 13. Come on, Caldwell. Good catch. And he breaks the tackle after the catch, and he had three players on him. A, that's a pinpoint pass by Sheldon Briggs, but B, look at this. He throws it, throws it in there, gets it, breaks one, two. 
No. It's the kind of thing we want to see. Future is exciting for this team. And there's Williams. Oh no, that's uh Caldwell doing his best for Jameson Williams impression. So he's got two receptions and 37 yards. Nice play. See if we can get Caldwell a touchdown here. We look at him first. Nope. And we found Jamison Williams for the touchdown. I mean, how do you not pass it to him? He's wide open. Thirty-eight to fourteen, and the word on the street was that the Raiders had played inferior opponents. This was going to be the test game. It turns out that some of this, some of those other opponents have played a much better game than the Bengals have, at least up to this point. Although Jamar Chase has over a hundred yards. We've, we've given him given him that Andrew Booth has played him well once he got on him but he did give up the but we did give up the deep pass Nixon won't go down but he does get the first down. Let's, uh, let's go with some different play calls. We haven't done this game. Mm, Burrow had nowhere to go. And I think that's... Uh, who gets in there? Is it Nathan Flanagan? Lanigan just decides to go in and Garcia is also there. Second and 21. That wasn't three and out though. The commentator said three and out. Nice tackle. Oh, he's wide open. Why is he that open? I see you know, Flanagan came through and just made sure he was done. Man, why was he that open? Probably, yeah, no. And that's intercepted by Chris Hicks. No, sir. The defense steps through one more again. Under pressure, Trayvon Merrick was there, almost got the interception, and Joe Burrow just puts the ball up. Probably looking for Ingram on the, on the pass, but didn't quite make it. <laughs> didn't make it. Ooh, Caldwell with another catch. 
throughout the game. And with the lead, stay in bounds. Make them fight order to try and catch him. And Ed Harrell went out, making room for the young receiver, a fan favorite. And Dickerson's got 73 yards on seven carries. Bynes with the uh, with the catch and he loses a yard. That's the end of the third. Raiders up over the Cincinnati Beagles, thirty-eight to fourteen. Good to try to score one more time. There's Williams with the catch. Nice run by Briggs. Got a little eight yard gain and he gets the first down. Did have a, uh, may have had a touchdown over there on the left side. This one's probably going to go to Caldwell and it may be a touchdown. Looks like it won't be, but it might be just on the inside of the, the D. Intercepted because I over committed. Over committed. Justice with his second interception. You know what? We're going to go. Let's try this. It's not a run. Oh, defenders pick each other off. Big play by Burrow. Gets him out of trouble and puts him in potential scoring position. Mixon has nowhere to go on the screen. So as far as Joey Garcia was there. Oh, sir. And bring some. Bring in some safety pressure and see if that does anything. Oh. And that's going to be a punt. This was sprint. Oh, no. They're not punting it. Fourth and 14. I guess they figured might, we might as well go for it. Max Crosby just pushing forward. Oh, he was. Intercepted by another one by the by the young safety who is the backup. He's in there once again. Wow, the, so he's double covered. He said he's just going to throw it to him anyway. He had two people on him. I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ball game, I would have said never. Not in a million years, but here we go. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Run up the middle. Dickerson got space. 
And he's well over 100 yards after that run. 120 yards on nine carries. Making his case for being the starting running back. Wow. And they had to know he's running the ball. Another 10 yards for the young player. And he's got 143. The fullback getting some love for the, lately. Probably not the right move here. Let's go. Let's just go back to the run. And there it is. And he gets in. Yeah, Dickerson feels good. Feels good. We might have to give him some more reps. It's interesting because Bynes couldn't get anything. Like, they were completely keying in on Bynes. I don't know what kind of rabbit you're going to pull out of your hat for the 30 point deficit. Joe Burrow is going to chase and only chase. Gallup scored earlier, though, but man, he is. Putting his chips in that chase basket for real. Mm, mm, nice catch. Looked like it could have been intercepted. Oh, sir. Good break up. My number 16, whose name I always can't remember. Is it Newsom? Wide open. Malone there to make the tackle. And it looks like we may give up. May give up a touchdown here. Maybe not. We might get another interception. If we do, it will be the sixth interception of the game. And they do get the touchdown at the back of the end zone. Not sure who it was that made the catch. It was a good throw. That's all right. We'll come down and get the run. Keep the run moving. And Caldwell. And another 10-yard gain. Dickerson with 
almost 200 yards on the ground for a game where it felt like we couldn't run hardly at all. Dickerson's got another eight or nine yards. Offensive line just seems to be blocking a little bit better with him. Got a minute left, maybe one or two runs. He's having a great game as well. Keep giving him the ball, 183 yards. Last run of the game. All right, Dickerson, can you get to the end zone? He, oh, he almost gets, gets there. And that's going to do it for this one. The Raiders with the W against the Cincinnati Bengals. Raiders show up on prime time. Let the country know that the champs are still the champs. Cincinnati put up a fault, put up a little bit of a fight early in that first half, but it was the interceptions that did it for the Raiders. Five interceptions thrown by Joe Burrow. That will be the difference, I believe. The two teams actually play very similarly if you take the interceptions out. But you can't take the interceptions out. You got to keep them in. Shane Briggs outplays Joe Burrow. Briggs has one of his better games of the season, completion-wise. 24 for 28, 303 yards, three touchdowns, and two interceptions. Max D. Dickerson. Breakout game almost for him. 15 carries, 196 yards. Sharif Bynes, five carries and zero yards. Just couldn't get anything going. Not really seeing a lot of broken tackles with Max, but Jameson Williams with nine catches and 114. And again, nice to see him getting catches a lot of different ways instead of just the deep ball. Uh, Schultz is the next. Schultz and Caldwell. Both of them had some pretty good catches. And the fullback, Jason Fleck, got him a few as well. Defensively, Nathan Flanagan leads the team with tackles, I'm sure. Greg Newsom, that's his name, Newsom. Also played well. Trayvon Merrick with an interception. Uh, I think we. Two interceptions by Chris Arsenal. Uh, showed up big while Irvin is out. Make it, again, making a case for maybe he should just be the guy that's in the game. Definitely seems to be able to play the ball pretty good, which is what we were having an issue with uh, at that strong safety position. So, very happy with the way everyone is playing. Raheem Montag gets some uh, upgrade love. And Jameson Williams. I mean, what else? What else you want out of him? He's 98 overall. Um, oh, we got a new injury. Who? Riddick. Oh, Ed Harrell, he's gone for four weeks, and so we're going to get a little more of Caldwell. Nice. We'll get it. Uh, I don't think, I feel like Caldwell played well with the, with the chances that he got, so I feel good about, feel good about him. Next week, we've got the Jacksonville Jaguars. They're five and, five and four. Uh, Raiders 
96 defense, 87 offense, 91 overall. Against the Jaguars, 83 offense, 85 defense, 83 overall. Let's take a look at the standings and see how we're doing here. Looks like the Giants playing well in the NFC. Dolphins right after them in the Colts. I believe they... Colts. The Colts are in the mix. So it's the Giants and then... Oh, wow, it's everyone fighting for his for position in the NFC other than the Giants. Five and three, five and fours all over the place and four and fours. Yeah, who knows what's going to come out of there. Uh, what do we got over here? Raiders, Dolphins, Colts, Chiefs. Look at the top four. Jets and Bengals. Yeah, you got a little movement there. But next week is the Jaguars. And so let's go take a look at their team. And see what the skinny is. Jaguars, Trevor Lawrence, nice quarterback. Hmm. Running back's not too scary. Either is the fullback. Christian Kirk is a good receiver, but I don't know that probably it's going to be LaVisca Chanel that we have to actually worry about. Maybe this guy, fast guy, Andrew Fletcher. Uh, ultimately, though, not scary. Maybe Jermaine Lynch is actually going to be the guy. Um, they may try to run the ball. Offensive line, not scary. Defensive line is uh, it's okay. Linebackers are good. Cornerbacks, secondary, it's okay. Again, not, not particularly scary is this team. Not scary. Take a look at how we'll choose to play them. Uh, I think we'll defend a short pass. And I also think, yeah, I think we'll go half pads and backups again on this one. Cost. I don't want to. I don't want to deal with that crazy, more uh, fatigue situation. This counter, we're not worried about. We're gonna throw medium. Go ahead and start the play. Start the trading. All right, we've got a few injuries. Um, not all of our players are healthy, but. Um, We'll handle the rest of this offline and into the next into the next uh, the next episode. So if you made it this far, thank you for doing it. Thanks for watching. Appreciate all that you do. Um, be on the lookout. We may be starting another franchise. Still looking to get some comments about whether you guys think you'd want that or not. So let me know if you haven't already. Uh, but until next time, this is Pastor's Game 2. God loves you and so do I. And I will see you when I see you. Peace out.